Hey, you. You're finally awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? Walked right into that Imperial ambush. Same as us. And that thief over there. Damn you Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. If they hadn't been looking for you, I could have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. You there. You and me. We shouldn't be here. It's these Stormcloaks the Empire wants. We're all brothers and sisters in binds now, thief. Shut up back there. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. Ulfric? The Jarl Windhelm? You're the leader of the Rebellion, but if they captured you... Oh, gods, where are they taking us? I don't know where we're going, but Sovngarde awaits. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Hey, what village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be of home. Rorikstead. I'm... I'm from Rorikstead. General Talia, sir. The headsman is waiting. Good. Let's get this over with. Sure. Mara, Debella, Kinnereff, Akatosh, Divines, please help me. Look at him. General Tully is the military governor, and it looks like the Dalmor are with him. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this. Oh, this is Helgen. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. Wonder if Vilod is still making that mead with juniper berries mixed in. Funny. When I was a boy, Imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. Whoa! Get these prisoners out of the car. Why are we stopping? Why do you think? End of the line. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. No, wait! We're not rebels! Face your death with some courage, thief. You've got to tell them! We weren't with you! This is a mistake! Step towards the block when we call your name. One at a time! <sighs> Empire loves their damn lists. Ulfric Stormcloak, Jarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. Raylof of Riverwood. Lokir of Rorikstad. No, I'm not a rebel! You can't do this! Halt! You're not gonna kill me! Archers! Anyone else feel like running? Wait. You there. Step forward. Who are... You. You picked a bad time to come home to Skyrim, Kinsman. Captain, what should we do? She's not on the list. Forget the list. She goes to the block. By your orders, Captain. I'm sorry. At least you'll die here, in your homeland. Follow the captain, prisoner. Ulfric Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Aetherius, blessings of the Eight Divines upon you. For the love of Talos, shut up and let's and get this over with. As you wish. Come on! I haven't got all morning! My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. Can you say the same? Just 
justice! Death to the Stormcloaks! As fearless in death as he was in life. Next, the Nord and the Rags! There it is again. Did you hear that? I said, next prisoner! To the block prisoner. Nice and easy. What do you see? It's in the clouds! Don't just stand there! We'll meet again in Sovngarde, brother. <sighs> Looks like we're the only ones who made it. That thing was a dragon, no doubt. Just like the children's stories and the legends. <sighs> the harbingers of the end times. We better get moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. There you go. You may as well take Gunnar's gear. He won't be neat. And more. Oh. Right. Get that armor on and give that axe a few swings. I'm going to see if I can find some way out of here. Ah, this one's locked. Let's see about that gate. Damn. No way to open this from our side. Come it's on, the Imperials. Soldier. Keep moving. They cover. Get this gate open. that door. That's it. Come on. Let's get out of here before the dragon breaks the whole power down. Yeah! <laughs> 
another day, <coughs> another victory. That brag of custom. See if you can find any potions. We'll need... Done. Let's get moving. Since the dragon showed up. Wait a second. Looks like there's something in this cave. Ah, it's locked. See if you can get it open with some. We might need that gold once we get out. Grab anything useful and let's go. See where this goes.
how a true Nord. I hate those damn things. Many eyes, you know. There he goes. Looks like he's gone for good this time. No way to know if anyone else made it out alive. But this place is going to be swarming with Imperials soon enough. We'd better clear out of here. My sister, Gerder, runs the mill in Riverwood just up the road. I'm sure she'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't. made it without your help today.
glad you decided to come with me. We're almost to Riverwood. Dragons now, is it? Please, Mother. If you keep on like this, everyone in town will think you're crazy. Looks like and nobody got here knows what happened. Listen to more of your facts. Come on. Gerda's probably working in her lumber mill. Yes? Raylov? How do you know him? You really are Raylof's friend. I'll be glad to help you. But you didn't answer my question. How do you know him? A dragon? In Helgen? It can't be. Although, it would explain what I saw earlier. Flying down the valley from the south. I thought I must have just been seeing things. I don't know why, but I actually believe you. You've got the look of someone who's just seen a dragon. Things just go from bad to worse. First the war, now dragons. What's this world coming to? The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgruf in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Girder. Brother, Mara's mercy, you're safe. Your friend told me about Helgen. City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you.
We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size. Your family's no, honor is important to you, but we can't afford it. Oh, come on, it's a What's the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgruf is not receiving visitors. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then. The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? By Ismir, Irileth was right. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountains... The Jarl of Falkreath will view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not... Enough! I'll not stand idly by while the dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people! Irileth. Send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done Whiterun a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents? Perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mage's College in Winterhold. Faringar, I think I've found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill her in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me? Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. You are eager to begin your adventure. Excellent. The sooner begun, the sooner done, eh? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone, said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Remember, your mind is the best Anything weapon you have. Or dragons. We need it quickly, before it's too late. Of course, Jarl Valgroof. You seem to have found me an able assistant. I'm sure she will prove most useful. Succeed at this, and you'll be rewarded. White Run will be in your debt. Few seconds for my supper is all I ask. 
Yarl has finally agreed to send you back to River. Yes, sir, of course. We'll leave immediately. It's just us again. By Izmir, it's true. A jester, funny suit and all. Just north by the glorious farm. The fool had a coffin in a cart with a broken wheel. I'd like to see him laugh his way out of that. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Well, sounds like you've had quite the journey, Utka. You won't get away with that. Huh? Figured I was lying dead in a field somewhere, is that it?
have to end this with this game. Guy. Over here. You, over here. Watch it. Stop that, you fool. Why should I share the treasure with you? Because...
you see? The terminology is clear. Ah, the Dragon Stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. Seems you are a cut above the usual brutes the Jarl sends my way. That is where your job ends and mine begins. The work of the mind, sadly undervalued in Skyrim. My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. She discovered its location by means she has so far declined to share with me. So your information was correct after all. And we have our friend here to thank for recovering it for us. You went into Bleak Wait, Falls Barrow and got that? Nice work. Just send me a copy when you've deciphered it. Farangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. You should come too. A dragon? How exciting. Where was it seen? What was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack White Run, I don't know if we can see. Let's go. So, Yurileth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. Oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the Watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irleth, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. I should come along. I would very much like to see this dragon. No. I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to No signs of any dragon right now, but it sure looks like he's been here. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is Get under cover. The dragon, it's still around somewhere. Kinnereth, save us. Here he comes again. Well, well. Another maggot squashed beneath my boot.
I can't believe it. You're Dragonborn. In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. According to the old legends, only the Dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. Dragon? What are you talking about? There aren't any dragons then, idiot. They're just coming back now for the first time in forever. You already have been told you're not allowed here. Turn around and go back the way you came. You're finally here. The Jarl's been So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? I knew I could count on Irileth, but there must be more to it than that. Dragonborn? What do you know about the Dragonborn? So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thum or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as she may be, I don't see any signs of her being this... what? Dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant! These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Prongar, don't be so hard on Avenich. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with her? That's the Greybeard's business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're Dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor.
I envy you, you know? To climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. Need something? All right, then. Good to see you. Lead the way. Yes? Need something? Maik wishes you well. Maik is tired now. Go bother somebody else. Hand over your valuables, or I'll gut you like a fish. Well, I uh, can see you're not one to be trifled with. Let this be a warning to you. What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't do that.
So, a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn, why have you come here? We are honored to welcome a Dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. That is for you to discover. We can show you the way but not your destination. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Yeah, that remains to be seen. Without training, I've already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Gro, the second word in unrelenting force. Gro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. But learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of rope. Let us see how quickly you can master your new thought. Fools! Use your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Fools! Well done. Again. Fools!
You learn quickly. Once more. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. See how you learn a completely new shout. You must hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thumb. Approach Master Bond and he will gift you his knowledge of wood. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn. Master Bori? Rex! Wolf! Attack! Now it's your turn. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Your quick mastery of a new thum is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jurgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ustengrav. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. Wind guide you. Hey, watch it!
Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. Get up there. You ever met one of them cats? Thralls of yours are slower than Argonians in a blizzard. Feel free to grab a pick and help them out. I prefer not to sully myself with manual labor.
that. Thank you. 
of that?
You're that visitor Welcome. been poking around. Think I got a clean mug around here attic room, eh? Well, we don't have an attic room. But you can have the one on the left. Make yourself at home. So you're the dragonborn I've been hearing so much about. I think you're looking for this. We need to talk. Follow me. Close the door. Now we can talk. The Greybeards seem to think you're the Dragonborn. I hope they're right. Surprised? I guess I'm getting pretty good at my harmless innkeeper act. I didn't go to all this trouble on a whim. I needed to make sure it wasn't a Thalmor trap. I am not your enemy. I already gave you the horn. I'm actually trying to help you. I just need you to hear me out. Like I said in my note, I've heard that you might be Dragonborn. I'm part of a group that's been looking for you. Well, someone like you for a very long time. If you really are Dragonborn, that is. Before I tell you any more, I need to make sure I can trust you. If you don't trust me, you were a fool to walk in here in the first place. Yes, we're very old enemies. And if my suspicions are correct, they might have something to do with the dragons returning. But that isn't important right now. What is important is that you might be dragonborn. I knew the Greybeards would send you there if they thought you were dragonborn. They're nothing if not predictable. When you showed up here, I knew you were the one the Greybeards sent and not some Thalmor plant. We remember what most don't that the Dragonborn is the ultimate Dragon Slayer. You're the only one that can kill a dragon permanently by devouring its soul. Can you do it? Can you devour a dragon's soul? Good, and you'll have a chance to prove it to me soon enough. Dragons aren't just coming back. They're coming back to life. They weren't gone somewhere for all these years. They were dead, killed off centuries ago by my predecessors. Now something's happening to bring them back to life, and I need you to help me stop it. I know they are. I visited their ancient burial mounds and found them empty, and I figured out where the next one will come back to life. We're going to go there, and you're going to kill that dragon. If we succeed, I'll tell you anything you want to know. Kynesgrove. There's an ancient dragon burial near there. If we can get there before it happens, maybe we'll learn how to stop it. I need to get into my traveling gear. Give me a minute and I'll be ready. That's better. Let's get on the road to Kynesgrove.
Got the inn till I get back. Right. Happy trails. <laughs> 